arrived on scene to multiple 911 calls for smoke and fire showing from the business behind us. When they got on scene, there was smoke and fire showing from the eaves of this structure fire. Uh, they made uh, evacuation with all of the occupants made it out safe. No injuries were reported for any civilians. We have one firefighter that has been transported by EMS for uh, uh, heat exposure, for uh, the intensity of the flames of this, of this uh, fire. You can tell pallets are all on fire behind us. The whole yard is lit up. Uh, crews, we, we have a three alarm fire. That means that we have a lot of fire crews with a lot of water that is, that, that is trying to put this, all this wood out currently. Crews are doing the best that they can and they're trying to keep everybody safe. Obvious question, we have any idea what started it? So as of right now, we don't have an indication of what the cause or where the origin is, but we have investigators on scene and we'll report uh, with an update soon. We've got a few homes right here, are you concerned about? So obviously with the intensity of the heat, the homes that are in this area are considered to be safe right now. Crews have done everything that they need to do to make sure that uh, none of the occupants are gonna be affected. The smoke conditions are not coming over to the residential side of this neighborhood, which is a great thing for us. But the concern that we have, obviously, is that wind directions can change on us any time with fire of this magnitude. It, it almost creates its own weather uh, with, within our a block. Are we kind of, oh, how do you keep your firefighters safe under the conditions with the air so, quality and stuff? With, with our firefighters currently, we have uh, SCBAs if they're going to be close to the fire. But outside of that, uh, you know, we train every day for conditions in this nature. Uh, we have battalion chiefs that do a fabulous job leading our crews, and we have captains that are in charge of each of those crews. We're continuously talking to each other over the radio to be able to communicate what the conditions look like. Our assistant fire chief, Jimmy Walker, is on scene, along with the, uh, the other uh, uh, safety chiefs, and they're making minute-by-minute uh, -minute calculated decisions uh, for, for the nature of this fire. Are you cycling guys in and out on a certain... We are. So at a three-alarm fire in this nature, we have crews coming in and out. So as you can see, firefighters walking away from us. They're going in, refilling their air bottles, and then they're uh, getting water, getting hydrated, getting back, and then we'll rotate them back after about a half an hour. How many guys do you have on scene right now? Give or take. Currently, right now, we probably have over 160 people that are on scene that are rotating within and out of the fire. Jason, are we kind of in a defensive mode right now? We are. So uh, it, the early decision was made uh, by the conditions in which the fire presented uh, that we would go to a defensive tactic. Uh, that, was th that, that was made on the decision that there was no life safety issues that were given to us, uh, and everybody made it out of the property. Um, this, is, th this is ordinary combustibles. We do have some hazardous materials that are on scene here, but they're not posing a dramatic threat to us, but they are, they are concerned. We have our hazmat team on scene here and they're monitoring the uh, minute by minute for us. We do have a new drone that is uh, flying up and it is, uh, it, it's reading the heat patterns uh, within the fire. And it's something new that, and innovative that we are doing. And uh, we're using that technology to be able to allow us to see what the, what the spread of the fire is how intense it is, and then what, where the smoke is going. This could be burning for a few hours, hey. Right? This is gonna be out here for a few hours. So when people are seeing it, you can see it as far as uh, uh, Gladstone, you can see it as south as uh, to the stadiums. So just need to know that everybody currently is doing the best that they can. Thankful there's no wind today. You know, the wind is coming and going, but, but the conditions have been presentable for our, for our folks, and, and we just need to keep everybody hydrated. Okay. Perfect, bro. Okay. Thanks, sir. Great job. Appreciate it. This price, sir.